Hello Collective, welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please feel free to like, comment, follow, subscribe, do whatever it is your spirit is leading you to do. So let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. I feel like I'm going to make that statement my slogan from now on. So let's go ahead. So there's either someone or a group of people re-examining something. They're going over something or they're trying to decide if they should do something again. Um, and this has to do with either spell work, some type of stupid plan they came up with to take someone down, but it's not going according to plan. Someone, because I see the two of swords out here, there were people working together behind the scenes to cause some, someone some type of mental illusion, mental conflict. Like they want you to go crazy, be mentally unstable, emotionally unstable, but it's not going out that way. This is why we have the three of pentacles. I mean, the two of pentacles out here. It's like they're juggling back and forth, pulling out all the tricks out of their bags and things like they're just doing any and everything. Someone here is going to a practitioner to pay for spell work to be done on you and this is because these people or whoever this is wants to have some type of control over you they feel like you belong to them these are people that do not see you as a person they don't see you as someone that has emotions or anything like that these are people liking a void of any human emotions and things like that right so this is how they view you you are someone who is a star seed protected by the universe so they see you as some type of like inanimate object right like you are just a being you don't feel emotions or nothing like that and this is because all of the spell work these people have been throwing on you or throwing at you for all of this time nothing has happened with an average person that does not have protection from the universe they would not be here by now but you are still here for some of you these people have been throwing spell work at you for months weeks years so on and so forth, but you're still waking up, breathing every day, going on about your life. It's that people are living in a chaotic state of being, and they want you to have that exact reality. It's that what it is they want for you, what they're wishing for is what they are living. So it's like someone going to pay for spell work for you to have and be in poverty, but then they themselves find themselves in poverty. Like this is what they are going through, right? So it's like it's being immediately returned to them. And if it's not being returned to them immediately, they are just building up karmic debt, right? And they are under some type of illusion that if they keep going, they're going to succeed at the at some point. But they never will. As you can see, you have your angel here guiding you. Think of this as the universe watching over you wherever you go you have protection around you. And these people, I don't know if they don't know that or they are just living in denial. You know, some dark workers, they get so comfortable and so egotistical, they think that they can outsmart the universe. Make it make sense, but we're going to leave it at that. So these people are juggling amongst themselves, deciding, deciding she would do this again, she would not do it again. Someone wants to do it again. Someone is deciding to move on. It's a few people that are deciding to move on with their life they're afraid of the consequences of what they did, uh, what's, what's going to happen to them. And you best believe there is karma coming back. Someone is about to lose a very important family member to themselves. Someone is about to be unemployed. Someone's business is falling apart. You're about to lose your business. Someone is going to be losing their life. It's a lot of endings coming out here for these people. As you can see, we have the death card out here, the destroyer card. And this is absolutely uh, imperative for these endings to come about because this is the only way these people are going to leave you alone. Um, it's like these people, in, they feel entitled to your energy. Like they feel entitled to it. It's like when people come into your energy, you just have a like an aura about you that's very healing and things like that. And dark people like this, they are emotionally and mentally imbalanced. They feed off of that kind of stuff. So they will go out of their way to make you feel unstable because this is how they thrive. They feed off of that type of energy. So they will mess with your, your, your positive energy, your loving energy, and put you in an energy of toxicity so that you can feel in balance and then they can feed off of that energy that you are giving up, right? So someone in here is in desperate need of being in your energy, in your presence. It's like they're dying without you around. It's like there's some type of illness someone is dealing with and they've, they've been feeding off of your energy for a long time, but they don't have access to it anymore. So now they feel like they're losing their mind. They're losing their health. They're losing their life. And this is how it was always set, set to happen. Just also know that whatever energy they've taken from you, it is being taxed 
So they do have to pay for everything they stole from you. Everything these people took from you is being returned to you immediately and permanently. And their karma is coming to them immediately and permanently. These are not things that you can avoid. So some of these people are doing spells blockage spells cleansing spells and things like that none of those things are going to work your karma is due you will receive it you will endure it you will experience it regardless of what it is whether it's you losing a family member whether it's you uh you having some type of illness being unemployed homeless and things like that every single person involved will receive their karma um and some of you have multiple karmas coming because of how long you've been doing this and how many times you've done this even though the universe has told you to sit down okay so people are being forced to move on someone is experiencing some type of ending that has to do with housing uh job uh, and just all of those types of things and this is because this is what these people were intending for you but they are experiencing it and some of them this is what's coming up and there's absolutely nothing you can do to block it i don't care who you go to you can go to the best practitioner in the world they cannot block this karma from coming to you this is what you pay for so this is what you are receiving basically when you go out to practitioners that are okay with doing dark work and you pay them let's say you you pay them to to, to have an, a star seat on a live you're basically going to a, a practitioner you're saying hey i'm going to give you ten thousand dollars so i can be on a live that is what you're saying when you go and do things like that and people don't even add, apply those types of logic to it they just they have so much hate in their heart so they are incapable of applying any type of logic to the things that they are doing be because let's make sense of this all of these people are aware that you are a star C because if they were not aware, they would not be coming after you. Because obviously dark workers, they know they're not going to gain anything from another dark worker. So the very fact that they know who they are coming after means that they are okay with signing their own unaliving certificate when they go to a practitioner to pay for work to be done on you because they know it's not going to work. It's not meant to work right it's an illusion that these people choose to live under someone is moving on immediately they are out of there because they know what's coming someone is trying to run from karma but it's just not going to run that way now they want to fix their lives find higher meanings in life see things from a higher perspective that is beautiful but you still have your karma coming into you sir or ma'am because this is what you've been paying for this is what you've been paying for for so long. So what you pay for is only justice for it to be given to you. So you are going to receive that. There is someone in here that is under some type of illusion that when they come towards you, you two will work things out, be a family again. You two will heal things together. They're no longer going to be selfish or narcissist, egotistical. They're no, no longer going to be just plain or simple minded. They want to have a family with you. This person is coming in to cause you some type of illusion. And this is what they do. You know, they are attacking you from, from behind the scenes in subtle ways. Um, and then you get all comfortable thinking things are done. You know, you are healed and moving on with your life. And then they come in and do another thing. And this person does not realize this is the very future that is ahead of them. People are going to be doing the exact same thing to them. But this person wants to come in and cause you some type of illusion because they know that you are going through something right now. Uh, you may be working on building your finances. They know that you're supposed to have some type of financial abundance coming in. Um, and so they want to come in and cause some type of illusion to make it look like they have changed. They want to work things out with you. They've healed, things like that. But this person has not healed. This is someone that is still malicious or narcissist in a dark energy, just there to drain from you. Someone went and paid for work to be done on a queen of wands, showing up here as a star seed, has a guardian angel with the universe surrounding her. She is loved. Uh, he is loved, highly protected. And someone went and paid for work to be done because they wanted this person living in fear. And this is not going to go according to plan because it never has and never will. Okay. Someone has some type of obsession. It's almost like a mental illness where they just want you living in some type of state of destitute desperation, like a deplorable state where you are dependent on other people for handouts and things of that nature. It is really sickening to think about what people will go and do just to disadvantage other people. Someone wants you to feel trapped 
Someone wants you to feel just out of body, out of alliance with yourself, out of alignment with your higher self. Someone wants to disconnect you from source, from your guardian angels, from your ancestors, but it will never happen. For some of you, your guardian angel and you are one. So there is no separation, right? Like your soul guide, you two are so comfortable with one another that you are now one being together. So when people are coming after you, they don't realize they're coming after your soul guide, coming after your angel. Uh, you know, it is, it's crazy. It is crazy. Someone definitely, there's a queen of wands in here as well that definitely accepted donations to cause some type of uh, uh, illusion, fear to a star, star sea, right? Um, and this person is aware that you do have a protective guardian around you at all times, but this is like an ego thing for this woman. There is something you're supposed to receive that this woman feels entitled to. And I know the queen of wands is showing up out here, but please know that we can all embody these energies at any time in our life, any time of the day. It just depends on the situation, the time of the day, what's going on around us and within us as well. So right now she is just embodying the Queen of Wands energy, but she accepted donations in order to interfere with someone's forward movement. She wants someone living in fear, someone having to protect themselves, someone being, you know, mentally unstable and things like that. And this is because they are trying to cause some type of illusion to a gentleman that is coming in to have some type of equal give and take partnership with you. This is why they are doing this because they don't want you in connection with this gentleman. But that is exactly what's going to happen. If you can see, we have the temperance card out here and the stars card out here. The other reason why these people are doing this, as I mentioned, is to get you out of alignment, get you out of balance. They want you to be angry. They want you to be afraid. They want you to overreact to things where you're not paying these people any mind because you already know that you are dealing with a, with a group of immature people that just have not managed to make it on the other side of the track as far as maturity, as far as growing, as far as healing. These are all people that are avoiding the whole journey of healing because they have done so much dark work in their lives. It's impossible for them to heal all of it in this life. And they know the amount of karma they have to pay because of the people they have been coming after for all of these years. People have a problem with you being confident, but you are still confident to move forward. There is someone that has some type of disillusional or I mean, delusional confidence that they can come in and trap you in a union with them. And this is someone from your past. So some for some of you, this could be your ex-lover, ex-husband, ex someone from your past, ex-friend. There's someone from your past that has fond memories of you. They think they can come in and cause you some type of illusion to trap you and make you feel like you have some type of victory. You two are moving forward in life. You have balanced each other out or you have balanced your problems out. You've talked things out. You're using, you know, logic now to move forward. You, you have a plan, right, for the future. And this person is going to do all of this just to cause you an ending. This is someone that is extremely broken with, within themselves. This is someone that is unhealed. They thrive off of tearing other people down, destroying other people's lives. And that is because this person was trapped and destroyed a long time ago. A long time ago. So this is the scenario of hurt people hurt people. So this person is hurting. And so because they're hurting and do not have the necessary tools, were never thought or given the necessary tools to heal, they are wanting to break you as well so you can reside in a lower vibrational state. This could very much be like a fallen angel that is just far gone. And they see that you still have your wings, you still have your connection to source, and they want to take that away from you because they know they don't even stand a chance to have that. Someone in here, it could be this masculine or feminine from your past, their prosperous future is gone. It is erased because of the actions they have taken against you. This person is never going to be prosperous again in life. Nothing they put their hands in will ever grow. Abundance, it is not their portion any longer because of the choices that they have made out of delusion, out of greed, out of uh, ego. Everything they did, it was like so senseless, right? And this is why their future has basically been er erased. Someone 
here is i don't even want to say that but someone is losing uh, another person and it's very sad because all of this would have been avoided and i predicted this a while back that someone was going to pass away and very much someone has passed away or this is what's coming up because i did a reading not too long ago that confirmed that someone was passing away and this is because of what these people have been doing behind the scenes what another reason they've been doing this is to cause you heartbreak to block your forward movement and things like that these people are very much passionate about blocking your future blocking your joy your happiness that abundance you have about yourself right you are a powerhouse they are very determined to block that and they are heartbroken that you are still moving forward because this is what it was always meant to be for you to move forward it's like these people don't understand that there is a contract put in place and they're doing their part of the contract and your part of the contract is to simply keep moving and you've been doing a beautiful job at that and you're going to keep moving forward but it is pissing these people off it's like their full-time job is you taking you down but it's like every day they wake up the plan they come up with is not working so they keep coming up with plan it's like little tactics you know people have no power when they have to do things from behind the scenes they throw rocks to hide their hands you know people like that do not have any powers so do not give it any reaction keep on going on about your life disregard them because that is all the energy that they deserve to have is this being disregarded as you can see we have the sun car out here so you know your path is clear the universe is illuminating your path and telling you that you are on the right path in life whatever that may be spiritual a spiritual path a, a, a business path whatever you are doing in your life the universe wants you to know that they are with you they are guiding you on your path it may not be clear at the time at this time but you are on the right path they just want you to keep moving forward and they want you to keep moving forward with an open mind uh embrace that inner child that is within you okay so do not shut that side of you down this is what these people are wanting to do is shut that side of you down that inner child that creativity that loving energy that light you have about yourself that is what they are wanting to shut down so absolutely do not allow anyone to take that away from you the universe loves that about you and this is the reason why they trust you with the purpose that you have in life so you can expect to receive some type of message that's coming in that has to do with your abundance you have some type of financial payout or some type of inheritance that was left to you do not talk to anyone about it keep it to yourself just thank you the universe this is going to put you in a beautiful energy where you will be independent living off of your own wealth self-made things of that nature this is the universe bringing balance into a situation it's also quite possible that someone in here that took some type of action against you they have lost so much so much finances so much health so much peace that they may want to give you a financial payout because they think this is going to balance things out balance out the skills you can expect to have some type of new beginning in love um you i know this is showing up here as the king of wands and the king of swords but you two are going to balance each other out so you two you are the the brain of the company and this person is the like the the muscles of the company so this is a business owner he knows how the business works and things like that and he knows you are someone extremely intelligent very hard working committed you're not easy to be fooled. You see things for exactly what they are. So this is why this masculine wants to work with you. And please disregard the energy that you all are showing up, up in. Because as I mentioned, we all embody these energies at different times of our lives and different times of the day, right? So tomorrow, you clean a source, you could wake up and be a queen of cups. It just depends on how your day is going and who is trying you. And you know you got to check them when they try you quietly discreetly like some of us star seeds do we do things quietly or we just let you dig a hole for yourself because we want to have the pleasure of sitting back and watching you fall into that grave that you dug for us hello beautiful indeed <laughs> anyways let's do a recap i love doing my recaps so basically we have the truth being exposed People are choosing to walk away and find higher meanings in life because they know they can no longer cause you any type of illusion. There is no way they are trapping you, causing you any type of mental conflict and things like that. You have control over yourself. 
okay you're going to receive a message that is going to put you in a better light you are not you know stuck mentally conflicted emotionally imbalanced you're someone extremely balanced you have fulfillment coming up for you you have a big decision coming for you though it may have to do with choosing one lover over the other or choosing one opportunity over the other think wisely do not rush into nothing before you accept anything okay um, so you have abundance coming your way. You're going to have the beautiful love and relationship, the family dynamic, the uh, finances, the, the spiritual connection, the connection with source, a successful life. You have all of that coming towards you and you are going to be with someone that is just like you. OK, this is someone spiritual, someone that is of equal gift and take someone very balanced, em ba balanced, emotionally stable. You two are going to have a successful life together. You two may have had similar experiences in your lives, just on your separate paths. And now you're coming together because you understand what it means to have people coming up against you for no reason, simply out of jealousy and uh, 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 maliciousness, basically. Um, but you can expect to be living your best life here very soon. Okay, you're going to have m multiple options and streams of income. You're going to be coming up with many ideas for business and things like that. You're coming out of a stagnation period where you'll be walking into abundance and being able to embrace this side of you a lot more than you've been having to. There is something that is going to come to an end for you, and it is not something bad. You're just ending one chapter to begin another one. Um, so you're coming, a lot of you have already even ended this chapter, and it has to do with like a toxic relationship, toxic work, things like that. And you have a brand new passionate beginning in love where you will be fulfilled and things like that. This is what these people were intending for you, but this is what they are experiencing. This person was extremely confident that they could break your heart, cause you heartache, cause you a loss, but that is what they are experiencing. You're speaking your truth, you're living your truth, and these people hate that about you, but there's nothing they can do to stop it. And this is why they all work from behind the scenes because they know there's nothing, absolutely nothing they can do to stop you. They can't even touch you. You're a star seed. Before they even come towards you, it's a car accident. It's, it's them being arrested, them falling ill, things like that. Someone may have caused some type of disease and things like that. It's just, they cannot touch you. So don't worry about these people. You're moving on to calmer waters. You can expect to be receiving some, receiving some type of financial payout, a, a, a charity or something like that. And as I mentioned, someone wants to give you some money because they think that's going to balance things out. Um, you decide how you want to move forward with that, but I just want to let you know, regardless if you accept that money or not, they still have karma coming for them. Uh, someone has been collecting donations and things of that nature, money from people to pay a practitioner just to cost you some type of ending. They don't want you in this genuine and healing energy. Yeah, they don't want you in this genuine and healing energy. Um, so yeah, you are going to be just a okay. There's nothing. It's like someone's taking their money and just paying it out to practitioners for no reason, and it's not leading to anything. So here we go with the sun card out here, which is just letting you know your path is clear. You have nothing to worry about. Go to sleep. Live a fulfilling life. Go on about your day as you normally would. Go on about your life as you normally would because. You deserve to have peace in your life. And this is what these people are trying to disturb. You have a connection with a king of wands out here. This is someone that's business savvy, a business owner, someone that wants to work with you and they see you for who you are. Um, so you have a beautiful collaboration coming up. Um, so congratulations. See you, see you later.